Hello, I'm Linda Ellis, Interim Superintendent of Grand Prairie Schools. On behalf of the District and the Board of Trustees, I welcome you to the special presentation of the 2020 David Daniels Scholarship Awards. Like you, I wish we could all be together to honor these truly outstanding scholars. And though we can't gather at this time, we are still proud to have this opportunity to celebrate their achievements and the legacy of Dr. David Daniels virtually. And now, I'd like to introduce Dr. Vern Alexander, Deputy Superintendent of Student Services. King David Daniels, a person who marks a trail for others to follow. Trailblazer. In 2012, Dr. Susan Simpson Hull charged us to create an awards ceremony in honor of Dr. King David Daniels, trailblazer and pioneer. David Daniels was the second of seven children. After graduating from public schools in Dallas, he received a Bachelor of Science degree in biology from Bishop College. Later, he earned a Master of Education degree and an honorary Doctor of Humanity degree from Bishop College. As a reflection of his importance in the community, additionally, he did special studies at the University of California at Los Angeles. David Daniels began his teaching career in Grand Prairie as head teacher at Danworth School in 1939. In 1942, Grand Prairie School Board President G.W. Spikes donated five acres of land south of Sherman Street for a larger school. In 1955, Dalworth expanded from an elementary school to include high school. The following year, 1956, Dalworth High School had its first graduating class with five students. In 1966, Dalworth once again became an elementary school. It was one of the most promising elementary schools in the Grand Prairie Independent School District system. The school was renamed for David Daniels in 1988. A new school was built in 2000, David Daniels Academy. After serving tirelessly as a phenomenal principal for 33 years, David Daniels retired in 1975. Upon his retirement from Grand Prairie Independent School District, David Daniels served on numerous religious, civics, educational, and community boards and received awards and citations. David Daniels' lifelong commitment was to wear the mantle of his change magnificently. If one was to make a summary statement of David Daniels' 83-year life, a uniquely appropriate one would be, a charge to keep I have and a God to glorify. Scholars, what will your life summary statement read? What type of legacy are you intent on leaving? How many trails will you blaze? How many lives will you not only affect, but change? The gifts and talents that you have been blessed with are to be passed on to others. We rise by lifting others. I'm Andre Ward and I attend Grand Prairie High School. I've always been taught the power of knowledge since a very young age. My grandma would always trust me the importance of education and even homeschooled me and my siblings for a year. Education was always a focal point in my life and made me realize that without education, you can't do much in this world. Seeing my mom struggle made me realize that I must create my own path to a free education and I knew the classroom would be the way. It has always been my dream to help others find their calling and help others realize that your education can take you further than any other sport or talent that you may have in this world. I plan to influence the younger generation and let them know you can have anything in this world, but it takes hard work and that the power of the mind is unmatched. As the great Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Hello, my name is Eliana Riddick. I am a senior at the Grand Prairie Fine Arts Academy, and I will be attending Duke University in the fall of 2020, hopefully majoring in political science. As a black woman, my mom always reminded me that education is my advocacy. In a world that wants to keep black women down, education gives me the opportunities to open opportunities, help others, create legacy, and make history all at the same time. 
My education is also important for my community. It's the way that I get to repay my teachers, my friends, my parents, my mentors, and everyone that has invested time in me. Education is also the way that I can set up my own community and help give back to those less fortunate and open doors for those that come behind me. One of my favorite quotes comes from Thurgood Marshall saying, none of us got where we are solely by pulling ourselves by our own bootstraps. We got here because somebody bent down and helped us pick up our boots. My family traveled 6,624 miles across the Atlantic Ocean because my parents knew that this single flight would bring us closer to fulfilling our American dream. Horace Mann said that education is the great equalizer of the conditions of men. And as a female, I am excited to test this theory. As I further my education, it will produce a sense of pride knowing that I will be a black immigrant woman pursuing a career in medicine. With the power of education, my sister and I can fulfill our American dream to become whatever our hearts desires. I end with my favorite Bible verse from Psalms 46 verse 5, which says, God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Thank you, David Daniels Committee, for this wonderful opportunity. Hi, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that I've enjoyed the past 12 years learning things like Texas history or chemical imbalances or trigonometry, <laughs> but I do recognize that I gained something so much bigger from my educational experience. I gained growth. You know, my mom has been an educator for 20 years and something that's always reiterated to me every time I feel like I'm just not gonna make it is that it's better to try. Because when I try, I'm stretching myself. And no matter what, whether I achieve trigonometry or not, <laughs> I come out on the other side a, bit, a better version of myself. And that's, I realize that's what my educational experience is about. Just trying. I wanna be an artist, that's, that's my future. Anything art, give it to me. But being an artist, I recognize that there's always room to grow. Therefore, I, I have to have a learning mindset because I want to grow and I want to expand on my artistic abilities. And hopefully with that mindset, I can achieve anything. Hello, my name is Kristen Carraway and I attend Grand Prairie Early College High School. To explain the power of education depends on how much knowledge one has in specific areas. To reach success, you need to know the most about the things you want to achieve. Through sports and accelerated courses, I've had the opportunity to learn about myself as well as others. Through sports, I've learned how to work with others on a team and also how to take my actions into account and how they might affect other people. Through accelerated courses, I've learned how to take on larger workloads and work harder to reach my goals. In the fall, I plan to attend Abilene Christian University where I will be studying kinesiology and sports medicine. Without an education, I probably will not be able to get my dream job. As the late Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. Thank you for the opportunity to be a Daniel David Scholar. Hi, my name is Lydia Lewis, and my journey with education didn't start off easy. When I was younger, I had difficulty in reading, and this put me in a defeated mindset. But, but with the help of my community, church members, family, friends, and older students who became my mentors, I quickly squashed this defeated mindset and realized the importance of education. As I continued my journey through academia, I wished to pursue a degree in neuroscience to later become a neuropsychologist to help individuals who suffer from psychological and neurological disorders to continue to strive and pursue their passions. As I close out this speech, I want to leave you with a quote from Malcolm X. For education is a passport to the future. It belongs to those who prepare for it today. Thank you again for this wonderful opportunity. Hello, my name is Darnell Robinson Jr. and I am a current senior at Grand Prairie Fine Arts Academy. Once I was seven years old sitting on the couch watching Barack Obama deliver incredibly inspirational speeches about hope. Mesmerized by America's first African-American president, I too wanted to be president along with a slew of other occupations that range from wanting to be a Disney Channel star to being a neurosurgeon, all influenced by watching television. That impressionable boy soon found out that there was no logical way for him to achieve all of those goals in one lifetime, so he decided to let somebody else take on that challenge. 
Instead, I told myself that I could make my wild dreams become reality by being an actor who could play an architect, a president, and a neurosurgeon. In an interview, Sidney Poitier stated on the night that he won his first Oscar for Lilies of the Field that the best actors are truly educated actors. Meaning an actor cannot truly portray his role unless he understands who it is he is portraying. This is why education became a huge endeavor for me. While many people are under the notion that actors aren't necessarily as educated as doctors, while that may be true, actors are constantly learning. This is exactly why I want to continue my education at NYU. I want to use my platform as an actor to promote social change. Now, more than ever, it is extremely important to support all minorities and to give African Americans a voice in film and television like Kenya Barris and Ava DuVernay. Both artists use entertainment to not only educate, but to inspire us all to be resilient in the face of adversity. Entertainment is an incredible avenue for activism because as Miriam Wright Edelman, president of the Children's Defense Fund states, Learning and training are essential to economic quality and freedom. That is exactly why I will use my education to elevate myself and others. Thank you. In closing, rejuvenation and reflection. You've been granted time, time to reflect on your purpose in life. How will you be courageous in your service to others? Time to rejuvenate. How will you strengthen your heart to serve others? God has blessed you with time to reflect and rejuvenate. Be still 
Learn the lesson. What lessons are you learning? How will you apply those lessons to service to others? Psalms 27, 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord. Be still and hear the lesson.